In this video, we'll see how to use the empirical rule in a sketch of the normal distribution to answer some questions about normally distributed data. The Acme company manufactures widgets. The distribution of widgets is bell-shaped. The widget weights have a mean of 59 ounces and a standard deviation of 3 ounces. Use the standard deviation rule, also known as the empirical rule, Suggestion, sketch the distribution in order to answer these questions. So we're going to sketch the distribution and we we'll start by drawing a nice horizontal line and then drawing a bell curve over the top of that. And then We'll put some vertical lines to divide this up. Uh, one of those vertical lines goes right down the middle. And that actually marks off the mean, which is given as 59. Now, on each side of the middle, we need to split into three pieces. Each one is going to be one standard deviation away from the other. I don't have to be exactly in the right place. That would work. So as we move along to these lines, we are increasing by one standard deviation, so we would just add the standard deviation to the mean. So uh, going from 59, we do 59 plus 3 would give us 62. And adding three more, we get 65. Adding three more, we get 68. Similarly, going to the left, we would be subtracting the standard deviations so going uh, one to the left we'd have 59 minus 3 is 56 and 56 minus 3 is 53, and 53 minus 3 is 50. So we now have all the values labeled out. And then it's just a matter of putting in the correct percentages. So we know that, according to the empirical rule, 68% um, is within one standard deviation. And so that's going to be 34 in each. We also know that 95% is within two standard deviations. Now, if 68 is in the middle, uh, then the difference would be 27. So 68% is in the middle, that would leave 27% for the next two pieces, and of course it's split, so we would have 17.5, sorry, 13.5 in each. Take 17 and divide it by 2. So we have 13.5% in each of those. And the last thing is that we have 99.7% within three standard deviations. Let me go ahead and do 95% here. So 
So 99.7% should go out to there. Remember that 95% is already taken care of in the middle. So subtracting, we see that just leaves 4.7% for these other two pieces. So if you split that in half, that's 2.35% for each. All right. So there's our full empirical rule distribution sketch, and we're ready to answer any of the questions. So the first question is 99% of the widgets lie between what and what? And that goes to the orange thing and the farthest reaches of this drawing, right? 99.7% are going to be within three standard deviations of the mean. So we would use the 50 and the 68. In the next question, we're asked what percentage of the widgets lie between 53 and 68. So if you're going from 53 to 68, then you need to include the whole blue region of 95%, which goes from 53 to 65. You need to include all that, plus you want to add on this extra piece here. So take the 95% that's within two standard deviations and add on 2.35% to give you 97.35%. The percent sign is already there. All right. Finally, what percentage of the widgets lie below 62? The best way to think about this is that the line in the middle divides this up perfectly into 50-50, right? Where we have 50% on the left of the center line and 50% on the right of the center line. So if you look at 62, the whole left half is 50%, right? So we've got 50% there. The only thing we need to add is this last piece here from 59 to 62. And of course, that's adding on 34%. So if you take the 50% for the whole left half and add 34%, you will get 84%.